It's a sellout at the baseball ground, something might well give tonight. Derby with just one defeat in 12 will go fourth if they win. A Forest victory would take them within a point of instant return to the Premier League. The bad news for Derby is that Tommy Johnson, currently at the peak of his form, is out with hamstring trouble. But Marco, Marco Gaviadini should prove a more than useful replacement. Otherwise, it's the side that drew at Grimsby on Saturday. Forrest had a scare over Stuart Pearce's back injury, but the England captain wasn't going to miss this little confrontation. So Frank Clark makes just one change to the side that beat West Bromwich Albion. Lars Bohinen comes in for Jason Lee. Referee tonight, Joe Worrell from Warrington, who was only given this fixture on Saturday as a late replacement for John Watson. This is always one of the matches of the season uh, for these two sides. Whenever they meet, it's Forrest's first visit here, of course, uh, for, uh, since the 1990-91 season. And straight away, Gabbiadini in the action, edge of the area. And then Paul Williams lobs one forward. So many matches at this stage of the season uh, tend to have not as much atmosphere in the first half as they do in the second as it builds, but I think it will be there throughout tonight. Gabbiadini forward, here goes Kitson inside that penalty area and the chance into the crowd but an immediate warning there to the Nottingham Forest defence that Derby are in the mood Nick forward there for Kitson, edge of that penalty area and uh, pursued by Chetley, snatched at it a little Nicholson So a bit hurried at the moment Williams, Gabbiadini is making a run, that was a very good run and Williams spotted him, comes out for Simpson, Kitson's in the middle calling for it, it's going to go beyond him, Pierce's header, Cowans plays a lovely ball, beautifully weighted out here for Charles, calls for it again, Cowans very much involved, and here comes Kitson, the header's a good one, Crossley able to make a comfortable catch under his own crossbar, but Paul Kitson looks in rapier-like form tonight, Cowns has been involved in everything so far that's been good about the game. It's his lobbed cross in here, Kitson's header, but uh, Crossley able to take it. Floor from Phillips again, tremendous ball, and this could be the first one. Oh, Taylor responded superbly there, with both Wone and Collymore bearing down on him. The Derby County goalkeeper had to be at his best than he was. Stone wins it again for Forrest. Good football being played by both sides, and uh, Roy McFarland in his programme notes tonight expresses the hopes that these two are facing each other again next season, winning the Premier League. Williams fouled by Stone. David Phillips, it was initially, who played that ball through. It was a delightful pass, it bisected the uh, defenders, and Taylor darting from his goal served his side well. can take a good long throw in he's urging everybody away from him so his intentions are obvious the throws a useful one Short's looking for it and Short got there too well just uh, carried the ball too far and that's given Simpson a chance for Derby now still Simpson has a go first time didn't quite get the sting in it he was looking for Charles's turn to run at his old club. He tries to get around Wohl without success. Short's missed nothing so far. Sizing it up, taking his time. 
probably more inevitably the one he's aimed for and this time it is a free kick against the Derby defender and, uh, seven or eight yards outside Derby's penalty area I suppose it was uh, inevitable that uh, one verdict would go against the Derby centre-half it's been quite a battle with Colin Moore as you would expect so Pierce and Cooper and Phillips are all there Wone is pushing up down the left. And, uh, Derby have everybody behind the ball. Well, it's a better angle for Cooper than for Pierce. And Cooper will strike it. Oh, it's a terrific goal from Colin Cooper. And he's done it again. He just cannot stop scoring goals this season. Terrific start for Nottingham Forest. And Colin Cooper has struck his ninth of the season here, the slightest of deflections, I fancy, wide of Taylor and Forrest, pricelessly in the lead. Whether the keeper was unsighted is a moot point, but uh, Cooper, who scored only 12 goals in 265 league games before this season, has now got nine in this one campaign. That's a precious one. It's certainly been an outstanding signing for Frank Clark. A good one, and there's a chance here for Little Stone. He's also in goal scoring mood. My word, Steve Stone, who's scored in both the last couple of matches, looked as though he might be on for his own personal hat trick here. But he and a little touch out to him, bringing it inside Nicholson, worked it onto the left foot, and then again took the deflection. It could so easily have gone in. on his own up against four men in the middle if the ball comes to him Gambiadini plays it right up for Simpson now they've got to get more support for Kitson here comes the support in the shape of Harks just couldn't get there but he wins the throw in off well like a whippet is uh, John Harks Pierce for a penalty not given Harks is cross instead Kitson breasts it down Kitson nearly scores, and with Short coming in on him, Crossley bravely stays down, and that's the closest that Derby County have been to a goal. Came because Harks got it in quickly, here it is, first time ball from Harks, Kitson spinning on it, took the option of the shot, and Crossley at the second attempt completes the stave. Derby started like a house on fire, but they've run out of steam a little bit uh, since then. And one excellently struck free kick from Colin Cooper separates the teams at half time. Good entertainment, Derby County nil, Nottingham Forest won. And I'm sure they'll be reflecting on the fact that there are so many Derby matches in this uh, in Central TV Division 1 this season. And here goes Colin Moore straight away for Forest into the penalty area. They've let him run too. And he's not produced the cross he wanted on the end of it. To let Collymore run at you like that. And Roy McFarland knows Derby can ill afford to lose this evening. And he doesn't look happy with the way the game is progressing at the moment. Telling his players to get out. He needs more of them up there in the forest half. However, they might have something now as sliced up by Chettle on a first time shot. Terrific one it was too from Kitson. John Harks, in fact, I was watching Kitson there. I thought it was him, but it was uh, John Harks who really let fly with that one. Let's have a look. Yes, Harks ran in front of Kitson and uh, really belted it. Good stop, Crossley. Still Gabbiadini, and here goes uh, Simpson. He's got a man out on his right. He's got to feed him now. Here comes Harks. Can he score? Wide of the net from John Harks. The angle just too acute for him when the ball was delivered by Simpson. He timed the run well. It's the first time, really, that Forrest have been stretched like that. You can see how uh, Stuart Pearce has been sucked in field. And Phillips got across to just put Harks off, maybe.
Hearts has had two of the better shots though for Derby in this half one, a tremendous effort tipped over by Crossley, but that one off the mark. Stone gets in, here goes Collymore again trying to get between the keeper and his defender short, who reacted coolly. Oh, and he's gone in! What a remarkable goal! Steve Stone will take the credit. That's a quite astonishing goal. Gary Charles against his old team kicks the air, but he has helped really Forest forge a two-goal lead here. It's an awful defensive error. Charles knows it as much as anybody. There's the problem to start with. Taylor's out of his net, short with the header. Now watch Gary Charles here. Does it come off him? Well, Stone just got a boot in the way. It's an own goal in many ways from Gary Charles. But Stone might well take the credit because it did just loop it off his toe end. Well, here's Gabbiadini now. That wasn't a good header from Little. Garvey's chances here. It's going to come over to Harks. Has to control it first. And it's gone wide. A header from Pembridge. Just dink wide of the right hand upright. But at least Derby got men up there that time, which they've got to do. Gabbiadini cutting it back, and it was headed right across there from Phillips to Harks, who had to size it up, just knocks it back in there, and Pembridge's header drifts wide. And even Cowans is uh, suffering from the malaise now. Hayward's got a ball forward, which Little allows to go. Williams is still up there. of men in the middle and Williams it was who got in behind Cooper for once and he's unlucky there he stares at the net he stares at Crossley and he stares at the point where the ball went wide of the upright Paul Williams was a great trier would have deserved a goal he's only got the one this season uh, and yet it's only a couple of years ago he was the top scorer for Derby in the season with 16 but he's a defensive player these days one against one, Collymore and Short. Short won the day then. Kitson, nicely laid down for Harks. Got to do something quickly here, yeah, but uh, even one goal would be mere consolation. Harks. Oh dear, dear, dear. Really has all gone wrong for Derby County on this evening. And, uh, their confidence is gone. Frank Clark, on the other hand, still, still vocal enough. Still conceivable, Forrest could win the championship, of course, uh, by tipping Crystal Palace. And Nottingham Forest are nearly there. They've lost only once in 13 matches now. Frank Clark delighted. Two different goals, uh, a free kick from Cooper in the first half and a curious one claimed by Steve Stone with a considerable assist from Gary Charles in the second. So it's Derby County nil, Nottingham Forest two. Well, we need two points from three games to be absolutely certain, and uh, we'll be going all out to get uh, to get the three on, on Saturday at Peterborough. But after this 2-0 win, you must feel in your heart of hearts this team is going back to the Premier Division. Well, I felt it in my heart for a long time, but, uh, it, it, you know, that's a different thing to it actually happening in, uh, in reality. Uh, I thought tonight was a wonderful uh, team performance um, where I asked the players to do something different that we haven't been doing for quite a while now and they adapted to it very well and, and carried it out to, to, the, to the letter. You know you're going up there, don't you? No, <laughs> no, we're going Can I have up. a bet with you? I'll we're take going, Well, I'm not a gambling <laughs> man, but we're going up when it's mathematically certain that we're going up. I've been in the game too long to, uh, to take anything for granted, Gary.